Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll show the SolidWorks Plastics Measure and Probe tool and reveal some of its very useful features. This tool is useful because it has multiple functions, as we hope you'll come to agree. Not only can you probe coordinate locations and measure distances, you can also probe and measure result quantities as well as differences between result quantities at different points on the model. We're in shaded view mode and I'll go ahead and select the tool on the command manager. I'll describe the scene. Notice the software automatically turned on the cavity visibility option, so you're actually viewing the node and element representation of the cavity model. The three colored squares are output boxes and contain output from a location on the model according to each leader from the red and blue output boxes. The magenta output box contains other output and can be selected with the mouse to move the group of boxes for viewing purposes. The little square in the upper right hand corner of each output box is used to activate that box. Notice the blue output box is activated. This means wherever I click on the model next, the output box will update its contents. The blue output box updates and shows the node number. Here it is node number 4803 and it displays the coordinates of the node. I'll do the same to the red output box and move it up slightly. It's now active, so I'll pick a point for it. It updates to show that I picked node number 10994 and displays that node's coordinates. Now take a look at the magenta output box. It contains the arithmetic difference or change in coordinate values of the two selected nodes. For example, the first row shows little dx is minus 37.237. The notation using the little d means a change in something. The little d is commonly called delta after the Greek name for that letter. The change in the coordinate value of x labeled dx is equal to the coordinate value for x of the node in the blue box or minus 5.868 minus the coordinate value for x of the node in the red box which is plus 31.369. Here's the equation showing the difference in the coordinate values so we have dx equals minus 5.868 minus 31.369 which equals minus 37.237. In contrast, if you use the SOLIDWORKS measure tool, it gives you the magnitude of the change in coordinate values between two points. So the SOLIDWORKS measure tool would report this as just 37.237. Here's an example image using the SOLIDWORKS measure tool between two different points on the model. SOLIDWORKS shows the magnitude of the differences in coordinate values between the points, so there are no signs like plus or minus. However, it uses the same dx, dy, and dz notation, and you can see the naming convention in the input dialog as delta x, delta y, and delta z. The last item in the list contains the straight line value of the distance labeled as capital D. Here, its value is 154.202. So a straight line drawn from point to point would have the length shown as D, or 154.202. Now we'll show an example use of the tool for probing results. Here we have the fill time plot shown for this telephone mold cavity. You can see the racetrack effect of the plastic filling this circular boss. It might be of interest to look at the transit time as the flow front crosses this point of the boss on its way to this point on the boss. This way you can get an idea of how long it takes just to fill the circular boss. You can use the measure and probe tool to find out this time. Now I'll select the measure tool. Activate the blue box and select a point here. Next, activate the red box and select a point here. The red and blue output boxes show a capital R, which is the result at that node. In this case, the time that the flow front crosses over that point. The time at the blue node is 0.1477 seconds, and the time at the red node is 0.3515 seconds. The difference between the two is shown in the magenta output box as little dr and is minus 0.204 seconds. The minus sign does not make sense for this case. However, the magnitude of 0.204 represents the flow front crossing time between the blue point and the red point. So you could say the boss takes about 0.204 seconds to fill up. You can select the points in reverse order to change the sign, as we attempted to do here. Notice we see little dr as a plus value, 0.204. Another use is to look at the sink mark values. You can probe points on the model and obtain the exact depth of sink as shown in this image. The red node shows a sink depth result value of 0.0547 millimeter, 
and the blue one shows a depth value of 0.0424 millimeter. The magenta output box shows the difference between the two is 0.012 millimeters. This works for any of the outputs shown in the results list, so you can probe items such as pressure, temperature, shearing stress, cooling time, and so on. In this video, we reviewed how to use the measure and probe tool in SolidWorks Plastics.